All right, it is one minute after five o'clock. Thank you, everybody, for coming to our what's coming uh, uh, every other day meeting. But uh, I'd like to call to order the uh, special call meeting of the Board of Trustees of Weatherford College for today. And uh, I'd like to ask Brent to provide us our invocation. Thank you, sir. Please pray with me. God, we are thankful for you today. We are thankful for taking care of our students and our college. Thankful for our board members who have chosen to serve. I uh, thank you for the students that have chosen to be here, Lord. And I specifically want to thank you for our Wise County campus. And I thank you for the leadership. And I thank you for all the things you've done for this college. And please be with our board as they deliberate. And uh, we ask these things in your name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Brent. Uh, item number two is open forum for individuals not on the agenda. And uh, Mr. J.D. Clark is asked to speak. Sir, let me just speak to my seat. Is that okay, Mr. Chair? That's fine. All right. Well, thank you all very much. It's good to be here with you this afternoon. I'm J.D. Clark. I'm the county judge over in Wise County. I'm here with Commissioner Kevin Burns today. And we're here. Uh, no surprise to you all. We do have a, a desire and, and a willingness to have some Wise County representation alongside you on the board. I know that you all are all aware of how great the, the campus is in Wise County, and we're proud of it over there too. Enrollment's up about 12%, I understand, at the Wise County campus, and we're excited about that. Dr. Joyner does a great job. He does. Dwayne, we're glad to see you today, because that doesn't happen often anymore. <laughs> They've done a good job over there, and we're proud of it, and we, we see great potential for it. Um, <clears throat> But that being said, there have been times, I know, where, where issues have come up, where, where maybe there's been some, some debate and discussion about how things should be done or the future of the campus or some, some things that we should be doing. And I, I just really feel like, we all feel like, we would be better served, the system would be better served if there was a Wise County voice alongside you on the, on the board, not just to represent Wise County's interest, but also to understand the system interests and the bigger picture there at play because we know there's a lot more to it than just a Wise County campus. And and I know that, that we we pay different tax rates, but we aren't asking for equal representation. We're asking for a voice uh, amongst amongst y'alls. And we appreciate your consideration of that. We, uh, we certainly understand that we don't want to have an ability to wade into business that's not ours. And so even if we were able to have some sort of voice or representation on the board, and only vote on the items that pertain to Wise County, our Wise County tax dollars. We don't want to have a role in setting Parker County tax rate. That's that's not our job. That's not our business to be meddling in. But we do think that there's absolutely an opportunity and, and a, a reasoning for us to have a Wise County voice and how those Wise County tax dollars get budgeted and spent in the system. And I just think it'll go a long way for our communication and our relationship and, and we'll really just amp this partnership up to another level. I appreciate y'all's time today. Thank you. All right, item number three is to go into closed session, consult with college attorney. So I'd like to ask everybody except the college attorney to please exit the room. And we'll go into recess for about one minute. Get it? Okay. All right. It is 5:56, and we're back into open session. Um, we are still discussing the concept and stuff that we've been working on. The intent is to come up with something that covers our entire district that we want to work on, as far as pulling everybody together uh, with an equitable type situation. We think it's a potential for this college to provide. Uh, services like we've been doing for a number of years and also to allow the counties to come in uh, should they want to participate and so we're not done doing that yet we have meetings scheduled Monday Wednesday and Friday particularly on this issue if we don't get it done Friday's the date that we've got to <coughs> provide the answer back uh, I think his thing was somewhere along the line of you know, if the board would please respond with its proposed timeline to add such representation or concerns about doing so by the 10th. So, yeah, we're going to get them a letter by the time we go home next Friday, if not before. I think we would like you guys to be available for those meetings because I think there's going to be an opportunity for you to participate uh, in the conversation. And uh, I think that is the direction we're going to go right now. 
I know that you probably were hoping for more right now, but it's just not ready yet to put out for more. Um, I anticipate the discussions next week to be uh, almost entirely open session also, because everybody's going to have to see, at, at the time we published the letter, everybody's going to get it anyway because it's open record then. The issues, everybody knows what those are, and so we need to have everybody be able to hear what the concepts and the inputs are. And want you to tell us a little bit more about what your expectations are. So, with that, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Now, wait a minute, Mr. Martin. I thought we were going to we were going to speak a little bit about this at this time. Boy, that's different from what I heard 15 minutes ago. No, when we when we we were talking about this, go right ahead and tell me what tell them what you think. Well, first of all, I want to I want to tell you that I appreciate your comments. Uh, I. I welcome participation from all the district members, and we've been discussing that. Uh, personally, I feel like that uh, we want whatever we do with you and and your your people in Wise County. I think that's going to set a precedent that we we uh, are going to be dealing with, and that's important because. Once again, personally, I feel like that we want participation by all of the counties that are in the district. Now, I don't know what that participation is. You've talked a little bit about it, but uh, I, I feel like that there's some discussion from your standpoint so that I, I have a better idea. Personally, I think that the idea that we all are involved in, in the revenue that's generated is a good idea. I don't know from what you said earlier exactly what that means, but uh, uh, the concepts that we have we have been discussing are good concepts, and there's been a lot of work on that in a short period of time since this letter came from uh, Estes and uh, and the other senator. So uh, I like the idea of of having these meetings, and I, I certainly like the idea of the participation that that you two can bring, but at the same time, uh, I would welcome participation from from any other uh, people in the district that, that wanted to do that, because... Uh, you want to have that before next Friday? No, I don't want to have that before this Friday. Well, that's Friday. not what you said. You implied that you wanted to have it now. I did not imply that, Frank. I told you that when, when we were coming back in, I thought that we were going to be able to uh, go around the table and everybody was going to talk a minute. We never discussed that. The idea was for me to talk about what we were going to do. That's certainly not the way I understood it. That's me. fine. Would anyone else like to say anything then? I'm good. I think I think it's pretty close. I think we've had some good productive talks so far. Um, obviously there are times when we're at, at, at different ends of the table on, on different key concepts. But the overall vision that we're looking for is is one of more more opportunity uh, for not only the taxpayers of for Parker County but for our entire service area, and I think this provides an opportunity for us to examine that and um, and, and look further down that road. And certainly, like I said earlier, as we move on down the line to do a district wide thing with all of the other counties, we would have full participation. Ask for full participation and a vote by their taxpayers they're going to have to participate also. Any motions at all? Motion we adjourn. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 <laughs> adjourn.